I am now driving to Dara near Brisbane to pick up the bus bar. Forty six minutes. Here's our tint copper bus bar, 30 by 10. And look at this, it's for the off-grid garage. Nice. Cut to length as I need it. Oh, well, I went with the smaller bus bar now because, well, I can fit only three batteries in this shelf. So the current is kind of limited from that. And I want to go with a 100 amp breaker per battery bank. So we've got only 300 amps coming through the bus bar anyway. So uh, I went with a smaller bus bar 30 by 10, which can carry 360, 380 amps. And this one was like $50 per meter. So not too bad for tint copper bus bar. T2, 99.9%. Okay, let's get home. <laughs> well, that is quite heavy. Oh, I didn't expect that. Here's our copper bus bar. Yeah, so what's going on here? Well, this morning I have decided to glue some of the um, shelves here together. So I've got a double layer wooden shelf now floor for each battery compartment here because you guys told me as well when they're getting wet to yeah moisture humidity and everything they start bending and flexing a little bit and you don't you certainly don't want to have this under a battery right so well let's see how this works when i have when i laminate them together i'll leave them here with the weights on top of them until tomorrow and then we will see if this is better or not otherwise i just get five millimeter aluminium underneath and then it's done so this is roughly how it will look like I've got the aluminium carriers underneath here which go here in between the shelf similar to this one and then we have these um, isolators, these bus bar isolators in between. So they've got an N6 insert on both ends and they're just coming in between. And this is our copper tint bus bar here on top of it. One for positive, one for negative. The negative is actually six, 16 millimeter shorter than the positive. You probably can imagine why. Oh, this is the end. Okay. Oh yeah, here. It's 99.99% copper, pure copper. So, so this will come here in between, like this. And then we will have this standoff here, the isolator, somewhere over here. And this gives us a good distance from the frame. And we go all the way from the bottom to the top of the shelf. So next thing is I need to sort out if I have got enough screws here for everything. And if not, we need to go to the very close warehouse and buy some more screws. So this is the first fitting of the copper bus bar here inside the shelving. And well, this is what I thought it would look like approximately and, and this is the size of the 100 amp circuit breaker from no arc here it's just the frame size and i need to be i need to wait until this bloody car has gone yeah i need to be mindful of these beams here in between these two ports so we are to place them so i could have one here hang on i'll put you on widescreen wow super widescreen now <laughs> but now you can see um this is where the next the next battery shelf starts 
so this is our compart compartment from here all the way down so i've got enough space here to mount this circuit breaker in this position here and then on the yeah probably here right in the middle and this one will sit a bit higher because of the beam probably like this and then the third one will sit right over this beam here oh, hang on. there you can see it for the third one and then i've got enough space here for the fourth one for the big breaker because this one here yeah, i think the 250s are a bit larger actually can potentially go a little bit closer to the middle with the bus bars sorry i'm just rambling around here and just speaking out what i'm thinking at the moment maybe it maybe it helps someone one there one here and one up here and the other one i don't know if i put it over here or at the front probably at the front okay so we can come a little bit closer with these So that's the design I came up with. So I will have these aluminium supports here directly under the shelf. They fit perfectly inside. Just need to drill a hole here. And then the circuit breaker for the bottom shelf goes in here. And all the other ones will be further this way here. So this one will have a bit of an offset. But otherwise it won't fit because of this beam here. So there will be one here. One here. And the big one will be here at the top. See, the 250, the 250 amp breaker is actually uh, slightly bigger than these 100 amp breakers. Okay, and then we will have positive here and negative on this side. This one is 60 millimeter shorter for a reason. <laughs> Now this took me like an hour to get these uh, stupid BSBs in here. That was really a bad idea to put them here inside this shelf support. What You don't know what BSB stands for? That's a bus bar support bracket. I made this up, it's, not, it's just a piece of aluminium. Well, I could hardly reach this one here. I needed to drill a hole here for the Allen key to get in. And only this one down here was fairly easy because I had more space. Anyways, the BSBs are in, and we can now, um, we can now, yeah, well, we can now get these bus bar isolators in here. So this is the last fitting here of the bus bar inside and the uh, next step would be to uh, drill some holes into the super expensive copper bus bar. I hope all my measurements are correct. <laughs> all right, that's the um, positive bus bar. And hopefully it fits. Nah, doesn't fit. The the bottom one doesn't fit. Oh, it fits. 
It fits, <laughs> finally. I'm drilling a 2.5 millimeter pilot hole first. Copper is not nice to drill. Okay, positive negative bus bar is in the shelf. I think I have to take it off again because I need to drill some holes here for the um, cables then connect to the main circuit breaker. But I have to wait until the circuit breakers are here next week and then we can do some more measurement and see how everything fits together. But so far I'm pretty happy with this result. That looks solid. Ah, the good old times when I built switchboards, you know, all these memories are coming back now. <laughs> and tomorrow we can cut out our laminated shelves and fit this all in with the bus bars. But I'm not doing it today anymore. Well, I need to clean up this stuff here. Well, guys, I would say until tomorrow then, stay charged and safe. Have a good night's sleep and see you tomorrow morning again. When we do more work here on the battery shelf, I am excited. I am excited to put some batteries on these bus bars here and let some current flowing. Really? All right, see you tomorrow.